Hello everyone and welcome back with me at Replace. So today I am just bought this new controller, new budget controller. It's only thirty three hundred fifty dollars on US dollar. If you convert to the rupiah, it's like five hundred thousand rupiah. This arrived today. And I've been testing a little bit for a functional button to make sure that the all button is working perfectly and also pro properly. And right now, this is the box itself, GameSer T4 Pro from GameSer, and it has a new logo like this chicken, but this is not chicken nugget. And right here, um, it's also compatible with Bluetooth on your mobile phone like Android or iOS. But importantly, only Arcade and FFI on iOS that support this controller. It has asymmetric motors, linear trigger button, anti-slip soft rubber cap, and 600 MHz large battery. And this is all the features. No, oh, no, no. This is the button. And that's all. I open the box right now. And after I unbox this item, I will show you the game test. All right. This is the unit, the controller itself. I put in here. This is the USB dongle for wireless PC the budget itself has including the dongle and this one is a phone holder for a mobile phone and it's free all right this is the USB Type-C interface. Oh, come on. Can you please... Okay, this one. And this is the sticker. Game, sir. What is this? Um, this is the... Thank you from Game, sir. Okay, it's like from another products. Uh, this I don't know what is this, and this one is very important. The user manual. It has a lot of information in this book, and don't don't ever trust this user manual. All right, uh, this is the unit. Come on, can you turn on? All right, uh, I will show you how to put the phone holder to this to this unit. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Um. Right here, there is two hole in here, right beside the USB interface, and it is also the, what is this called in English, I don't know, bait maybe, just put in here and slide down, alright, that's it, that's all, very easy, 
and put your phone on this and it's ready to go ready to play if you wanna put on the dongle how do I um maybe slide up all right that's slide up that's very easy and very simple okay and this one is the USB type C for charging and wired version if you don't wanna uh, wasting the battery just use this USB type C interface it has one meters long cable I I wanna plug into the my PC right now just hold on All right. You will find the log the game sir name in the type C. Come on, can you could you could you mind if you focus to Okay, never mind. And just plug into this. And that's it. The controller has been wired to your PC to my PC and also charging the battery okay and if you wanna play with the dongle itself this is the dongle i will plug into the usb right now here is the dongle will light up in red color And if you want to play with the dongle, just press the on button, okay? And look at the down side of your controller right here. Press X plus home to 2.4 gigahertz. But if you have been um, connect the, to your PC before, it will automatically connect to your uh, computer without you press any button okay uh, I light up the ABXY button right now okay this is the original from the box itself but I don't really like the glowing the RGB so I just wanna I just turn off the light right now okay that's it that's uh, but in this uh, light here I cannot disactivate at it this I don't know why but never mind if it, it will not um, it will not what called in English disturb me maybe Okay, and it's time to test with a game. Alright everyone, this is uh, the testing video and right here. I'm using Dirt Rally for testing this. Testing this controller. Okay. Right now, this is for the right thumb stick, and this is the left thumb stick. This is the trigger button to throttle, and it will. It will. Um, 
if affect the game if I push this little like right now oh, come on can you could you <laughs> sorry could you okay right here um okay if I or, or maybe like this sorry hold on okay if I press this a little it will little too on the game this is because the linear trigger on this gamepad is maybe 100 percent and i push more and this is full press okay and also if i press the braking button or reverse button it will doing like that I push a little and a deeper and fully okay very legit I say <laughs> the button didn't hard to press this is very soft trigger left trigger and left uh, left button left trigger right trigger and right button this is very fun to play I can afford Xbox One controller because controller is not cheap to me. So all I can do is buying Gamer products because they are they are fairly cheap and also a goddamn good uh, good product. I have been using the Gamser T T uh, version T2A T2A on Indonesia Bahasa and that controller is got them better than this T4 Pro I think because I experienced that uh, before this controller and I compared to this controller that version is a goddamn better compared to this controller I don't know uh, exactly what happened that's my opinion about that and that's enough uh, testing this game all right everyone right now the gta 5 testing with gamesher t4 pro and you can see here the trigger button the liner button is also functional to this gta 5 if it don't I don't really know. <laughs> nice try, 
I would like this or not. Give me your fucking money. Is this? Man, I'm sorry. Fuck you. I can get you corkers tickets. God damn you. And this is perfectly work, work perfectly working. Oop. I wanna get that bike. I forgive get out. This is compatible with Nintendo Switch. That is very insane to this. If you, if you see that the the price on this controller, and this also support gyro on. I don't know what game that support gyro on PC. I haven't. I have not tested that. So maybe later. And maybe that's all. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you guys enjoy the video, please like and support me with subscribe. And if you don't like this video, you could easily comment that what need I improve. Or maybe the only one I need to improve that my English itself. Uh, see you in the next video. Goodbye.